Hi guys, welcome. I'm Sylvia, and today I will be showing you how I made this cornucopia cake. In the last couple of videos, I showed you how to make the lollipops and the candy corn, and I showed you how to make the little acorns and the leaves for fall. So if you are interested in trying this cake out, go check those, those videos out. Here it is. This is what we're going to be working on today. I am going to include, I'm going to make the cake be the cornucopia and a pumpkin inside. And then all of this stuff I had prepared way ahead of time. So by the time, by the time I ended up putting it together, um, they were all dry and all I had to do is just stick them and display them the way I wanted it to. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do this. going to carve this cake I don't care if it's perfect on the outside right now I will now put it in the refrigerator so they can um, harden inside and then I will flip it over on its side and hope that it stays and um, it should be okay because it's small enough the only thing is like I have the uh, smaller cake that I will add on later because I'm not sure if I want it in the middle, if I want it towards the bottom. So I have to see what it looks like when it's actually on its side. And if you're wondering why I have a vanilla cake with all the chocolate cake is because I was actually intending of doing the whole back in vanilla. So I was gonna have two flavors, but I changed my mind and decided to do the last part in Rice Krispie Treat so it can be elevated. So vanilla it is, and it's gonna be delicious because I have chocolate and vanilla and then more chocolate and then some more vanilla. All right, so the cool thing that I thought about this cake is that the cornucopias are like, well, they can be a dark wicker color. So I will just leave the ganache exposed and then add a few bits of uh, maybe fondant or the chocolate or something to give it more detail, but the ganache will show through which is totally okay. So I guess what I'm saying also is like, that I want the ganache to look nicer. I put some thought, I'm thinking, I did this, I'm thinking that copper wire might be the best option to hold the, the, little, the little curly back. So I will probably stick a good amount of this underneath the cake and then so that it, the actual weight of the cake supports it. That's a really good idea. That did not work. And here's my vanilla cake, but it's still a better idea than making it all out of cake. So there. So basically a cornucopia is not flat on one side, so I need to make it slanted, so. Let's see if this thing holds while it's supported by the cake. Let's see if it even works. Oh, look, it doesn't even work. All right, but it will. Does that look like a corn? <laughs> it looks like an elephant. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna work. For the cornucopia, I am going to cover it in black little thin stripes of 
brown fondant and I will have most of the ganache still showing so I don't have to worry, that's why I made it the same color, I don't have to worry about perfectly covering it. So I am smoothing a little bit out, I'm going to feed it to, through my extruder and then I'm just going to wrap the whole thing in, in this and then at the end I'll make a little detail and then time to start stuffing. I am going to, I think I'm gonna sculpt a little bit of a pumpkin, half a pumpkin, showing, just slightly showing through. And then I'm gonna start putting all my decorations on it. I will make a stem for this pumpkin and then I'm gonna start putting flowers and candy and macaroons and all kinds of goodies that I have prepared all over it. So the pumpkin's gonna show a little bit through, but not Totally, so I'm not too worried about worried about making making it completely perfect. Let's see. I also have some chalk dust, and I'm going to paint a little bit over the pumpkins to make it look more realistic, and over the stem. Okay, now the fun part. Now I'm going to grab, start putting all my decorations and here, I don't know if you guys can see, that was supposed to be covered by the pumpkin, but it didn't happen. So now I guess I'll just cover it with my awkward candy corn. Oh, so this is the fun part. We are just gonna have fun and everything everywhere. This is so cute. Okay, what else? Oh. There, we did it. Good job, guys. Finally, you're done. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is the cornucopia cake. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and happy Thanksgiving. And by the way, I just wanna say I am so thankful for everybody who's been watching my videos and who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. So if you wanna share what you're thankful for, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And happy Thanksgiving.